Hi there, I'm Kat Havens, the Assistant Director of Youth Education at the Houston Museum of Natural Science, and today we're going to be talking about the science of food. If you're working in the kitchen, you've got chemistry on your countertop, and today we're going to be digging into the science of ice cream. To help me today, I've got Chef Philippe, Executive Pastry Chef at Quattro at the Four Seasons. What are we making today? Vanilla ice cream. Can you tell us a little bit about the ingredients that we have going on here? Sure. We have a selection of egg yolks, milk, of course, vanilla beans, a lot of it because I uh, like a lot of flavor. Sugars, atomized glucose, which is like a powdered glucose. Okay. Uh, stabilizers and also um, powdered milk. So what I'm doing now is I'm basically gonna mix my sugar into my yolks a little bit right now so it doesn't really start to, because the sugar can start to cook your yolks a bit. Can you yes. tell us a little bit about what's in here? Egg yolks, milk powder um, for added proteins. Uh, the yolks obviously are for the fat content. Um, We'll add more cream later after the mixture's made. Um, the sugars, of course, the powdered glucose, and then stabilizers to help for, um, again, a longer shelf life. So right now I'm heating up my milk. I'm going to bring it to a boil with a little bit of sugar in as well so it doesn't scold on the bottom. So what are you doing right now? I'm tempering it in to the yolks. I want to slowly raise the temperature of the, uh, of the egg yolks, dissolve the sugars, Kind of mix all the ingredients around. Is it low, high, medium heat? What are we working uh, more with? More like a low to medium heat. And then I'll just keep stirring it and stirring it until it reaches the temperature that I need it. I need it to be about right about 84. Do you uh, use your vast knowledge or a actual yeah, I thermometer? Yeah, now I've made it so many times I can just kind of tell, it when, it's tell when it's ready. Pulling it down so you hit, so it doesn't continue to cook. Like I said, if I just left it on the bowl, right. made on the table, it would continue to cook it. It might it might break, is what we would call or scramble. Okay. So you but, need to bring the temperature down fairly quickly once you get it off. The for stove. the most part, yeah. Okay. I'm just going to add a little bit of cream to it now, cold cream, as opposed to cooking it, because I want to keep as much richness to it as possible. Why are you straining it? What are we trying to get out? Um, the vanilla beans that were the actual beans, we kept those in there. We'll keep the seeds, obviously. Okay. That in there. This next? We are going to freeze it. Excellent. Oh, wow. Okay, so it is like a little ice cream yeah. tub sized freezer. So basically, what happens is the outside of it chills. Okay. And then this will basically whip it, okay. put air inside as well as not allow it to freeze to the walls and it kind of scrapes the walls. Okay. And um, that's how we get ice cream. So now you dump it all in here. Yeah. And then about how long do I have to wait before I get to eat ice cream? Um, the compressor will tell you actually. There's a compressor inside and it'll shut off. But uh, you want to be cautious of it. The more it spins around, the more friction it can cause, even though it's a frozen unit. And um, it can actually separate your fats from your liquids. So, which will make it not taste as smooth and creamy. So it'll taste broken is what we call it. Um, so you have to kind of be cautious. You don't want to really over mix it. Right. But um, maybe about seven minutes maybe. Wow, that's quick. Ahead. That's a lot quicker than I thought. Yeah. You know, when so, you did the hand crank one, it was like an hour of turning. It is ready. So we're going to extract some. Take out of the machine and then we'll... Do you put this in the freezer afterwards to get a little harder? Or is this Most definitely. Easy? Okay. Most definitely. In traditional sense of ice cream, it's soft serve ice cream right now. Okay. Like if you were to get a so little cone or whatever. you can eat it either way. Or you can eat it right now and we're going to take a little a couple spoonfuls for everybody, but yeah. It's, it's a done deal. Awesome. Oh my god, that tastes delicious. It's really, really full of vanilla. Now, if you want to make delicious ice cream at home, you can go to our website, www.hmns.org, and go to our blog to learn how to make ice cream in a baggie. But if you want this delicious version, you'll have to come to Quattro at the Four Seasons and taste some that Chef Philippe has whipped up for you. I'd just like to say thank you to Chef Philippe today for helping us whip up this delicious ice cream and teaching us a little bit about the science behind it. Oh, it's my pleasure. Thank you.